Good morning, good morning, my friends and family. Happy Thursday. Um, the Lord said Thursday about today, so whatever is significant about today, more importantly, we got to be grateful waking up. In today's title, God is Powerful, and it's good news. God is powerful always. Um, we have to have confidence. We have to believe. We got to do our best. We got to try. We got to repent of our sins. We got to talk to the Lord. We got to forgive those around us because God is powerful. He's given us the word and he's leading me to go back into John 10 and God's mercy. And we're going to have a beautiful day when you have a mindset that's there. And people, the enemy's going to try his best to cut in and try to Cut the dance of just throwing the evilness in will rebuke you, Satan. The Lord's been telling me to plead the blood of the Lamb for, over our household, over our doorposts, over our children, over our house, over our cars, over our animals, over our careers, over our companies, and et cetera, and et cetera. And businesses, I say businesses again. And our dreams and our, and our what God is telling you in our future. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord, because you are powerful. My Lord, and I'm always going to give you faith, faith. Yes, Lord, I'm going to try my best. My Lord, even if I fall, my Lord, you, you please, thank you, Lord, you help me because I'm going to try my best because I'm only a person. But we got to get it together, my friends. We got to cut out the old and in with the new. And we got to have confidence because God is powerful. And um, to help me with this, and of course, God is almighty. God is wonderful. God is our almighty God. He's our Lord and Savior. As I'm, I'm, Lord, thank you, Lord. The Lord is leading me to read this. This is hot. So let's just read and let's, and then I'll pray. I'll pray right now and then and let's pray at the end. Thank you, Lord. I should get the word in and then I'm going to underline. I'm going to have my pencil right now. So I'm just going to, you know, just with my finger, I'm just going to glide when I find points that just talk about everything around this is wonderful. So I tell you, God is the good shepherd. I tell you the truth because God is the truth. The man who doesn't come into the, the sheep fold through the door but climbs out um somewhere else is a thief and a robber that does not like you because he will forgive you but you know you are to love thy neighbor but the one who comes in through the door thank you lord's closure for that you know but you know of course god will give you second chances but the w one who comes through the door is the, sh the sheep and the shepherd and the sheep amen because god is the door the doorkeeper opens the door for him, and the shepherd lists the sheep. Listen, this is important because God is Almighty God, because God is our shepherd, and for us, is the key to give. You know, we have to learn. The sheep listens to His voice, and He and He calls His own sheep by their names. Thank you, the Lord lives and leads them out. Amen. God leaves. God leads. God leads. God leads. Amen. When he has brought out all his own sheep, like he keeps our hands, amen, and he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follows him, like he will guide us, because he knows, because they, we, because they know his voice, amen, the sheep will follow the shepherd, and that's us, my friends, they will not follow a stranger, but will run away from him because they don't know the voice of a sh of the stranger. Because if you're dangerous, someone's trying to kidnap you. Are you gonna go? No, but you're gonna go where it's safe. That's where God is. And they and then this this was the illustration God used to talk talking to them. Just you know, so break it down so people can understand. Um, but they didn't know what he meant, so he had to break it down again. So Jesus spoke again. I tell you the truth, because God is powerful. I am the door for the sheep, amen. And all who comes before me are thieves and robbers, you know. So like I said, the door was closed, but now it's open. So, you know, God, you know, he forgave us of our sins. We repent of our sins. And then you get a fresh start. You, you have confidence. And it's like you get a new cloak, you know. So you just got to just follow the Lord, because he's powerful. God can do whatever he wants. But the sheep doesn't listen to that. But... You know, it's wrong because the Lord said, do not steal, do not see, you know, and take care of his people. But if you don't do right, he doesn't like that. Hey, and also, thank you, Lord, you don't touch his anointing. See, when God has favor on somebody, you don't touch that. You know, I am the door. If anyone comes through me, he will, he will be. He will be saved and will go and find out and find pasture. Amen. Pasture is like green grass, have peace, anything. And the thief can only steal and kill and destroy. 
That's dangerous, my friends. And I, this is God, came so they will have life and have overflowing in them. I am the good. shepherd and the good shepherd gives his life for his sheep that's why god died on the cross and he laid his life down for everybody and he i keep saying that god gave the ultimate sacrifice as he was dying on the cross he took all of our sins he took all of our pain he took all all of it that we were dealing with all the burden everything shame everything everything on that cross so we can have a second chance so we got to give respect on to him it says when a higher hand who isn't the shepherd and does doesn't own the sheep sees the wolf coming he leaves the sheep and he runs away thank you look god cares god cares thank you holy spirit the wolf carries them off that's why um people say that wolves come in sheep clothing because they like to hide in the flock and then when it's time for them to devour it's dangerous so god will never leave us a forsake and they scarf them because they're only this is a work of things it's only work and you're only temporary and you're not getting paid you know you, you leave off. It's not my problem. But guess what? God will hold the burden. God is all powerful. He will hold it down. God is, he, he's a keeper. He's a promise keeper. The light of the darkness. Come on now. He's our savior. Because the work of the money and it doesn't care about this. Year. It's like this only money. I don't have time for this. I'm out. You know? I am the good shepherd and I and he cares. They're gonna keep saying God cares, he's a keeper, and he's our father. And he never leaves us or forsake us. Amen. We gotta get God respect. I love you, Lord. I love you. We love you. And I know my own and my own knows me. Amen. The voice. We gotta listen to the Holy Spirit. We gotta be three in one. The next one we read is gonna be I am the Father in one. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. It knows me. And the shepherd knows the voice. The sheep knows his voice. As the Father knows me, and I know the Father, I gave my life for the sheep. Amen. He laid his life down for our sins, Lord. I repent of my sins, my Lord. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to gain the confidence to do this, Lord, so we can have a fresh start and, and restart and refresh, and I give it all to you. And if I'm lacking, my Lord, minister to me. Take the pain away, my Lord, and all the things that was gained in my family, Lord. Forgive me because you're powerful. You will mend. You will, you will tear down, my Lord, those walls that need to be teared down, that what is facing and trying to get through that walls and these hurdles it takes years months years whatever the time lock god allows you to you know we lack but god does not lack because he's powerful because he has the stamina and he will run with you he'll run away he'll run away all the, the the guilt and the pain everything god will hold the burden he's a superstar he's an athlete he is a plus 100 fools everything every everything god is perfection amen because he's powerful and then i have and in no situation is too hard for him. I know it's hard in the world, but no situation is too hard for him. Amen. And this world is temporary, my friends. You know, this lifetime is temporary. So you know, in the, you know, we got to be grateful waking up in the morning. We got to be saved. We got to help people in their salvation. If the Lord wills, if the person doesn't want to keep praying for them. Cause, and I know it's hard because you see a lot of people not doing the right thing in their jobs. And, it's, you know, your heart weeps, you know, but let God deal with that. And just be joy and just try your best and just pray. Put your gospel music on low. Pray for their atmosphere. Pray for them because we don't know what they're dealing with. But I believe in the power of prayer. Amen, amen, amen. I have other sheep too and that they are not in the folds. Amen. Because God knows there's weak people. God knows there's ungodly people. God knows that they're in different false religions. God knows they're different. We all have a past. Doesn't matter how big or small, God got you out. So don't forget where you came from. Even though you don't walk the same walk that they they have. But guess what? Work not and work good. God got God it, right? I must leave those two and they will listen to my voice. And also they will become one of my flock and one of my shepherds. Amen. God will lead them. God's stronger. You know, God's word will never fail. And the Father loves me. Because I gave my life in order to take it back again. Amen. Again. God risen. Risen from the dead. No one takes it from me. And no one on my own free will. I am giving it. I have the power. Amen. God is powerful. Look at the word power. It's to give it. And I have the power. Amen. To take it back again. Amen. We're free. God can give it. The Lord can take it away. We're safe in Jesus' name. And he were in his hands. God got the whole world in his hand in this life. 
Amen. This is what my father ordered me to do. The words, again, um, cause a split. And among the Jews, and many of them says this is the devil in him. And, and it is crazy how they just deflect what God gave you so many examples. But people still doubt him. But we're going to pray for the non-believers. We're going to pray for the ones who are lost. And the devil is in him, and he caught and, and crazy. And what do they listen to him? All others said, no one takes to them. And thank you, Lord, the lies that are thrown out there. There's lies in their throws out there. There's, there's, there's people lying in the word, and God said, don't add. You know, but God is powerful. God is awesome. And God and God is the powerful in the word. And, the, and people in the word out when they try to, they just, you know, move and shake things. But guess what? You can't move and shake God because he's powerful. No one talks like that. The, this and when there is a devil in him and can a devil give sight into the blind god has done this god has given sight to the blind for people to see amen and each one who are blind and he show his favor in the name of jesus i know a lot of people are doubting like oh i'm still this but guess what your faith god is a healer god is a promise keeping the light of the darkness yes we have sickness but we got to give it on to god and if he wills god can give it the lord can take it away whatever he wants to do he can do whatever he wants but i choose to walk in it i repent of my sins let's just repent dear heavenly father lord i thank you lord for this beautiful day lord thank you for shaping me lord thank you for repenting of our sins oh lord thank you for accepting me me. Thank you, Lord, for accepting this word, O oh God. And Lord, I accept you, my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, that you care. Thank you for the order, my Lord. The orders that you give us in the word, Lord, let's follow and try our best, Lord. And we can we can accept you, my Lord and Savior. And in Jesus' name, thank you for the you're the keeper. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.